With the NHL draft set for October 6th, 7th, Senators General Manager Pierre Dorian held a conference call with the local media today to discuss what's going to happen in the coming two weeks. First of all, veteran goaltender Craig Anderson, who has suited up for 435 games in his career with Ottawa, will not play for this club again. Down the road, Anderson may have his number 41 jersey retired, or perhaps he'll end up in the ring of honour with the late Brian Murray. There is no question, though, that Anderson has been a good soldier for this organization, and as Dorian noted in his conference call, he wanted to thank him for everything he's done, but the Senators have decided it's, just, it's time to go another route. Of course, that means the Senators will go into training camp with Anders Nielsen and Marcus Hogberg as their goaltenders. Nielsen is still recovering from a, from a concussion he suffered December 16th, hasn't suited up in a year, and hasn't been on the ice in Sweden either. The Senators, though, are still confident that he'll be available to start the season. Of course, all the talk right now is surrounding the draft because the Senators have the number three and number five selections, along with the number 28 selection he got from the New York Islanders in the Jean Gabriel Pajot trade. That means there's plenty of excitement on what's going to happen here. First of all, with nine picks in the first three rounds, the Senators are talking trade with a lot of teams right now. The way Dorian put it, he's very popular with his counterparts, and there's a lot of chatter. You have to think some of those second round picks the Senators have are going to be used to acquire roster players. And you look at the number three and number five selections, Dorian stated he expects that the number three pick, whether it's Tim Stutzel of Mannheim, Germany, or Quinton Byfield of the Sudbury Wolves, are going to be top players in the NHL who could play this season. So there's going to be a lot of news going on around here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned to ottawasun.com for all the details. For Post Media, I'm Bruce Garriock.